everyone should learn classic today, or at least I suppose I think everyone should have the chance to learn classic today. I'm not particularly keen on forcing people. I am. I'm not. Um, but I think you are being deprived otherwise of the most extraordinary breadth of um, learning, and you can't find it any other way. I used a long time ago to work for a man when I was a teacher, very briefly, uh, to work for a man who would say that the House of Western Thought has many rooms but only one basement, um, and he was of course completely right. If you want to understand virtually anything cultural, you pretty much need classics somewhere along the line. If you want to become a screenwriter, um, you literally can't do better than starting with Aristotle's Poetics. The most successful screenwriting teacher in the world, a man named Robert McKee, who is satirised in the film Adaptation, uh, he's a character in that, um, I forgot who plays him, ah, Brian Cox, brackets, not the physicist, the other one. Um, and he teaches, he's open about teaching from the principles of Aristotle's Poetics. If you, if you go to the, if you learn to write drama for the BBC, the BBC's drama writing course gives you a paperback of Aristotle's Poetics. That is where it begins. If you want to know almost anything about politics, you should go to the Greeks because they're the ones who started. They tried every system of government. They tried, um, you know, democracy. They tried oligarchy, rule of the few. They tried a diarchy, a rule of two kings, monarchy. They tried all of those different kinds of governments. If you want to know what happens when a, a senate and a, an independent ruler, a single ruler, are at odds with each other, then you should be looking at first century BC Rome, shouldn't you? How else do you hope to understand 21st century America? I think if you don't have those things at your disposal, you can get through life perfectly successfully. It's just that there's a whole raft of references, a whole quantity of depth that you don't get to find, that those things aren't there for you, that you can't, you can't understand visual arts if you don't know the metamorphoses. If you go to read English at virtually any university, they will tell you to read the Iliad, the Odyssey and the Bible before you go, because otherwise you just won't get Shakespeare, Chaucer, uh, Dante, I mean you, uh, who of course you would get in translation, but um, Milton um, off the top of my head. Um, and so you need this information at your disposal and even if you didn't, even if you didn't want to do any of those things, then I don't see why you would deprive yourself of being so happy as you can be when reading and finding out about a whole culture that it's almost the only time you can do that. If you study classics, you get to do an entire culture at once. You can look at the Romans engineering just as much as at their literature, just as much as at their history, just as much as at their, you know, that there's a reason why generals teach, literally generals teach, you know, battle um, techniques from Livy. I wish I were joking, I am not. It's from the um, Scipio Africanus battles against Hannibal. It, it, it's everywhere and it's all there for you and it's waiting for you and it will always wait. So if you don't have time, uh, you know, because you don't have it on your curriculum and you're too busy, it will wait for you. Um, but if you can find it when you were young, I think it is just, it, it's made me happy for my whole adult life. Now, of course you can say that I should have more hobbies and that is a legitimate criticism, but it has made me happy for my whole adult life. I would give that gift to anybody if I could.